Hello, I am Dr. Bharat Sarathida Taroy. I am a consultant dermatologist, cosmetologist and a trichologist. I have my uh, main center uh, in MG Road, uh, that is in the McGrath Road. Also, I have few branches in Indiranagar, Koromangala and Fraserton. See, fungal infections are again a worse subject. There are superficial fungal infections as well as uh, deep fungal infections. But uh, I will be talking here mainly about the superficial fungal infections, the infections which usually we see in our day-to-day -day practice. Uh, the superficial fungal infections is called dermatophytosis caused by dermatophytes. That can be uh, differentiated according to the site of the occurrence. Like if it is on the scalp, we call it tinea capitis. If it is on the face, we call it tinea facei. If it is on the beard area, we call it tinea barbe. If it is on the body, we body we call it tinea corporis. If it is on the crural areas like groin areas, we call it tinea cruris. If it is on the feet, we call it tinea pedis. Like this, if nail infections, uh, nail fungal infections, we call it tinea anguium. So like that, fungal infections, these superficial fungal infections are very common nowadays. There are various reasons. One is obviously the modern uh, tight cloths, tight jeans and dresses. And uh, it also differs from place to place. In hot, humid areas, it will be more. The areas, the folds of the body, it will be more. Since uh, uh, the areas sweats more, the fungus usually grows on the wet areas. As I told, depending on the different sites, we call it uh, like tinea corporis or cruris. Coming to the investigations, usually with uh, clinical features itself, we can make out. But uh, sometimes we do KOH mount where we can see the fungal hyphus uh, under microscope. We can also do skin biopsies, which is rarely done. And fungal culture also can be done. Usually, coming to the treatment part, superficial fungal infections, especially the mild ones, we treat it with topical antifungals, maybe with a oral antihistamine tablet. Whereas uh, in uh, severe cases, we may start oral fluconazole like 150 mg or 300 mg per week for 4 to 6 weeks or maybe according to the severity, we can start with tabinafin 250 mg once a day for around 10 to 10 days to 2 weeks or oral itraconazole 100 mg twice daily for 2 weeks or 200 mg twice daily for 2 weeks whereas in case of nail infections uh, visually we give pulse doses like monthly once 200 mg once daily for 1 week maybe 3 to 4 months we give that along with this topical antifungals in case of nails nail lacquers are there that's it and uh, tell patients to keep the areas dry since uh, fungus uh, grows more in wet areas and uh, take less oily less spicy food and uh, take care of your clothings as well like soft cotton cloth will help you to prevent sweating as well as fungal infections coming to the second part of your question why it is so recurrent nowadays one thing i should say is maybe these uh, organisms are getting resistant to the drugs. It is very true that last two years or so, I have seen a lot of recurrences in my patients. And uh, also, infections are not reducing with lower antifungals like fluconazole or uh, topical antifungals. I remember two years or three years back, we used to start with fluconazole. But nowadays, I start most of the patients with either tabinafin or itraconazole.